I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. I've also got part one on YouTube already. So, uh, yeah, for those of you that prefer watching on YouTube, go, oh, man. Got sick. Classic. He just doesn't look, th this face of Carlos just doesn't look good with, uh, with classic hair. Anyway, we're gonna continue, uh, where we left off. All right. Now I've got to remember the entire fight. Because I remember we got to, like, close to the very end. And I don't remember much else. Uh, but I've loaded up. I've got all of our weapons that we'll need. God, I hope this is enough. Because if not, dear God, we're, we're going to be in pain. I've already dispatched all of these. Hopefully this guy hasn't gotten back up. Nope, he's still staying down. Good. Hope everybody's weekend went good. Mine went pretty decent. I uh, took my roommate's clippers after she said I could use them and basically cut everything off my hair. I, uh, I couldn't take the long hair anymore. It didn't come out half bad. It doesn't have that fine fine touch that barbers and uh, beauticians have but it um it didn't come out horrible there's no patches or anything so that's good uh it's a little uneven on some sides but i'm not going for a professional touch here i just needed something that was not going to drive me crazy so glad i got that done <laughs> Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? Everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Hey, I can see your face again. Yup. I don't have long hair anymore. All right, time to run. Looking good. What's up, Brit? Yeah, no. Um, it took me forever, but I finally got it all cut cut down. My bathroom was destroyed. I cleaned it up, though. This motherfucker! Ow! Get the fuck out of here. Where is he? Aha! This is your after Nemesis is your after dark persona? <laughs> ah, damn it. I can take another hit. Okay, I can't take that hit. That might Yep, that's gonna put me on danger. Dude, talk about getting eaten out. Motherfucker. Aha! Bam! Right in the face. Come on, bitch. Oh, damn it. Ow.
Aha! All right. Oh, you bitch. God damn it. All right. Uh-oh. I got pissed off! Alright. There he goes. Let's see if we can let him uh, crawl up top. Yeah, this guy's pretty fucking tough. Oh shit! How far into the game is he? He chases you the entire game. <laughs> But this is his second form. Oh, you dick. This form is just a giant bullet sponge. There we go, Jill. Got this. Carlos, you still there? Oh, come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? God. All right, let's go. Motherfucker doesn't give up. Ooh, that's nasty. Oh, shit. Was that like his dying, dying move? And then there's this motherfucker. Demons. You've done me a big favor. Please. Oh, she's foaming. I don't feel so good. 
roughly half a day later. Notice Nemesis was gone. All right, looks like we're taking control of Carlos again. You like that guy? Dude, everybody does. It's Carlos. How? <laughs> Nemesis don't die. Nemesis is a tyrant. You don't kill him until you've blown him up. Yeah, no, Carlos has always been a good dude. Full of himself, but good. Find it, Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Might as well kill her. Be okay. I promise. Oh, okay. That's to give her the vaccine. All right, save room. Yeah, we're gonna fight. Uh, we're gonna fight hunters here, man. It's gonna be rough. Uh, let's save. Bottom. Oh, no. All right, Neth, nothing else here? Nope. Good. Go outside. It won't let me go outside. Damn it. The hospital is the last place you want to be where the when there's an infection. All right, there's got to be a map somewhere. Oh, rifle. Aim. First aid spray. Nice. Loving it. Old drinks. I'd hate to be at Cadillac right now. Yeah, no shit. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like over at Cadillac right now. All right, so that's that's Jill. There's that. Nothing there. All right, we good? Yeah, this room's clear. Let's get out of here. Spencer Memorial Hospital. And yeah, nothing good happens at a place like Spencer. There's a lot of zombies. Oh, that was a crit. Alright, let's see who's not dead. That guy. How about you, fool? Nope. Never trust the walking dead, dude. They're still trying to break that door.
The game's pretty fun. I don't got time for this. Yeah. Okay, it's not it's not a fucking hunter. All right, can I hit her, please? Oh, you bitch! Was a red herb. I think Mr. X has been here. Pick. Uh, I mean, possibly. There's a lot of people who've theorized how it would happen. Right. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Clark. Please state your business. Clearly, engineer to come. What's this? Nurse's Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring more of these mystery illness patients. The dead, uh, sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation ring. Problem is, the isolation ring is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary. We've been told it's a special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? All right, then. The healing item down here. It's going to be a key item. you got to be kidding me. Oh, I fucking knew that bitch was going to try.
I'll get your butt back up, dude. Okay. Guess we're going upstairs. There she goes. Yeah, no, these things don't stay dead. Okay, that door's locked. Fuck, we're low on ammo. I don't trust the teddy bear either. go or anything else in doesn't look like it right now but that's good there was a clip in there Okay. Like we're going upstairs. Fuck, that was a <clears throat> that was a headless body. It means there's a hunter up here. Gotta be careful. Oh, dude, at least there's lunch. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, you got me again. There he goes. Let's just go this way. Staff only. Oh, safe room. All right, load this baby up. Got some rounds in there. Whew. 
Here we go. Nurses Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection. Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is completely uh, is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. Kind of cool that we're kind of seeing the breakdown here. Some more ammo. Hey. All right. We're good. That should be everything in this room. Oh, thank God. We've got a map. Okay, so there's another staff room. There's the nurse's station, the linen room. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I think something bad happened. We're uh, looking for a doctor who has the cure for uh, this infection. Guys, I think something bad happened in here. Nurse's Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. Damn. Memos from administration, ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must wear their ID card in their own in their own personal lock or must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning for home for the day. Thank you. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, uh, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Who's not going to be surprised when they all stand up, guys? This guy. All right. 
we go down this way, we can hit the nurse's station and the sick rooms. Or that door might be blocked and we'll have to go through the linen area. Have I ever told you guys I hate hospitals? I, I don't hate them during the day, but when they're quiet like this, I hate them. Oh. Found the key. Was not expecting him to jump. Oh, looks like there's some kind of case over there. Oh, it's giving me more ammo now. Oh, okay. I know where we are. This is right before we went upstairs. Yeah. Welcome back, Brit. We're still in the hospital. The hospital is still scary. Looks like something's trying to get in through that door in there. Yeah, this is where I'd expect a lot of zombies, honestly. Yep, that's locked. So we're going to have to go through the nurse's station, of course. Right back over 100 rounds, so that's good. Let's jump back down there really quick. I want to see if there's anything we missed. Tactical grip. Hey, we did miss something. Eventually... <laughs> Please, it took me until I moved out of my first apartment for it to uh, look like it had somebody living on it. And then guess what? We moved. Okay. So everything else that way was locked, I believe. There was nothing left. This just leads right into the main courtyard. Okay. So before we go in there, let's go back into the doctor's room. Uh, at the staff room. Dude, I really don't want to go in there. They're all going to stand up once I'm on my way back out. Let's 
we're gonna stand up. Flashbang. Jesus Christ. All right. You awake now? Yeah. All right. We're free. Oh, shit, not these things. Oh, lovely. That's a hunter. Ass. You not gonna follow me? Dude, they're kind of balling. It's right there. Dude, they did a good job on the hunters. All right. Go safe. But yeah, no, they did a They did a bang up job on the way the hunters stand. We ain't gonna fight that one. But uh they did a good job. Ooh, now we just gotta be careful because they're out and about. Oh, shit. Both doors. Are there ninjas in this game? Sometimes, man. How you doing, CJ? Note about tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in a look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. Uh, I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. The kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy... The evidence he's a pig and an asshole now he will get his day in court oof i did three yesterday i uh, went for a walk now that the weather is like oh shit
You gotta be kidding me. How many zombies are in the hospital? All of them. Go back to sleep. Okay, good. Not enough zombies, not wrong. Just wait till we complete this game, we can buy infinite ammo. Alright. Dead. Fucking thank god a hand grenade. Take the stuff and leave. That was the sick room. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's two of them in there. Yeah, these are all hunters. Look at them. I bet you anything I'm going to have to go through that room. That's the treatment room. Let her come to me. Jesus Christ, he was right there. I hate it when they do that. Okay, lockpick. We're fine. We're gonna need that. You gotta be shitting me. All right, here we go. Oh shit. Oh damn. They cornered me. I was in the middle of a reload and they cornered me. You know what? I've got an idea for that spot. Dude, they took me from fine to dead with one hit. All right. Well, now we know what we're up against.
This character, this one's Carlos. Your boat back in there. Stay down. Ever played two or three? Okay, so two had Leon and Claire as the playable characters. This, these ones, uh, this one is Resident Evil 3. It has Jill and Carlos. These motherfuckers right here. There we go. Dude. They're balling looking. Look at their hands. We got 75 rounds and there we go. Remind me of the death claws from Fallout. Yeah, not wrong. Shit. Dude, did you see the way they move? Doesn't see me right here. Oh. God damn, it can take some shots. Exploit? Yeah, no shit, right? Okay. We can get down fast this way. Who needs the stairs? Dude, we're in a bad way with ammo though. Oh, now there's three of them. Shit!
Evil Within vibes? Yeah, no shit, right? Alright, I think we're good. Shit, man. Okay, so this can be discarded. We don't need that anymore. Right, what's this? Lost items. To all employees, we've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and it is unclear who it belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit it in the nurse's station safe. The combination is 93... Okay. Nine and three. That's that's combination. All right. Nurse's station was on the second floor, I think. Go we'll take a look up there. Same combo I have on my luggage. I believe the nurse's station, yeah, it's just dead ahead of us. I've never met a combination with, uh, with uh two digits allows the use of two magazines at once for maximum capacity of 64 rounds I'm assuming they're preloaded like the other ones. So when this one gets low, I'll add it in. That should give us more ammo. Damn, dude. That's a little harsh. Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel. There will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Uh, Thursday, September 10th, 1998. 6 p.m., the Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. And written note, Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for the new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked a suite 
Uh, for the usual after party, you're a brunette guy, right? Let Irons know. All right, I'll take your invitation, man. I like brunettes. Email from Nathaniel Bard. Greg, I know you're watching the news. The virus is... Uh, when are they going to do this to Dino Crisis? I fucking hope soon. I hope they do it like they did Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 isn't bad. It's still a great game. But... If I were to compare the two, it would be no challenge that Resident Evil 2 is so much better as a remake than this game. This game has a lot of throwbacks to the original, but it's lost its charm that Resident Evil 3 had. I, I think this one's straight over too far away from the source material, unlike Resident Evil 2, who kind of clung to it kind of like a skeleton this one kind of used it as a base and then just went nuts so personally i like resident evil 2 remake better resident evil 3 remake is no, by no chance a bad game it is a great remake but it is not the best one greg i know you're watching the news this virus is going to devour the whole country the dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus. The Holy Grail, and it's not for my family. Uh, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you've got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Uh, lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which, uh, should sound pretty chast after the parties we've been to. Uh, hurry, my time is running out. shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus, and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. at the board. They want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. Mm. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... That's because you're the dog, not the... you're not the fucking master. What is it original Carlos said? Do you think the master would ever tell the dog why he has to fetch the stick he just threw? Nope. Shit. Damn it. All right. Um. Fuck it. All right, you. Hang tight. Me? I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking... 
Here we go. Nope. Not messing with you, fool. Oh, shit. In before it was an actual sample of the virus, not the antivirus. still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Nope. Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. This sounds like an area where I can score a lot of achievements. Oh, shit. Okay. Now the fun shit. Shortcut. Goodbye. Oh, you son of a bitch! Get off me! Back down. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Find the breaker. It must be somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, you bitch. Get out of here. PD on tanks is so cheating. Zombie had a. Yeah, it did. Oh shit, where did he come from? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> oh, that's because you are a good healer. Oh. Dear God. Close. Well, 
My ammo is gone. Whew. I'm not looking forward to that on hard. That seems a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bottles and mother tops. I like Tyrell. I'm really liking him. Come on, Jill, wake up. Oh shit! <laughs> Talk about a nightmare, dude. Where am I? What's going on? Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. Can't be. This is not a test. Where the fuck did Tyrell go? Alright. Alright, let's get rid of this. Should be good. G18 burst model, huh? Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. Sure shit, didn't you? That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Hmm. Dude, you don't know who you're talking to. All right, let's take a look, see what we got. All right. Oh, we need the lock pick. Let's go. Goodbye. I assume that's where I'm supposed to go. Ooh, 
We've got other things we've got to go take care of first. Let's see what we got. The mag ammo. So something in here was never checked. Oh. This looks like Nikolai's work. Yeah, what was that? Shit. Where'd he go? Got him. Love this shotgun. Explosive rounds, huh? That's good. Hey, isn't this where they were making Nemesis? I think this is actually. I just noticed it now because it was in the beginning of the game. This looks like it would fit the big boy. Dude, they look pretty sick. I'm sure I'll find something to get over there. cut <laughs> I need to use strength honestly uh... safe room up here good okay Honestly, let's save our shotgun. We'll take the uh, explosive rounds. Take the grenade launcher. And while we're at it, I'm going to take a short break, guys. I will be right back in just a minute. Or just a bit, rather. Go ahead and hit play there on the recording. All right. Okay, what do we got on our on our person right now? Refilled my water bottle too, man. Okay. We need to turn these into explosive rounds. Or
Alright. We good? You know what? There was that hunter in there. And then there was those zombies. I'm gonna take some mine rounds, actually. Right then. We got shotgun shells. Um, what? I don't know why this controller does that. Every Apparently there was a zombie in there. All right. So we got to go under there. More mag ammo for a mag we don't got. But we missed something in here. Oh, some explosive powder. Got distracted. It's okay, I get distracted often too. There it is. I grade gunpowder. I think I can squeeze by. Reminds me a bit of Lara Croft. Dude, I... Th mm, that's a tough one. I don't know. Lara Croft would kick Jill's ass, I think, just because of the sheer working out that Lara Croft does. But Jill would come in very close. The Lightning Hawk. Guaranteed to give you a headache. 
Kendo's Armory. Collect all weapons in the campaign. I could believe it? Yeah. Like, without a doubt, my money would be on, uh, on Lara. Okay. I think that's it. No? We're missing stuff up on the second floor still. Let's go take a look. What else am I missing? I have a feeling I know where it is. Oh, not that. Ah. Oh. Okay, so it's just handgun ammo. I think we're good. We've got plenty of handgun ammo. Let's head out. What we'll do is we'll swing by uh, Tyrell's area, drop off a bunch of stuff, and then continue on. Whoa! Dude, he just came out of nowhere. All right, then. Drop off the mag. Go ahead and take the burst. Just in case we need it. No more lock picking. Where'd the fucker go? Okay, let's take a look around. Nothing. Some gunpowder here. Hmm. 
Anything around? Don't look like it. Oh. Okay, we got a green herb. Oh, and that's it. I agree with her. How did nobody from the hospital ever notice this? Oh, thank God, a hit pack. What do we got? Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where, it con uh, where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem, you can get the elevator running. You can't, and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub-generators situated around the warehouse to use those to restore power from the main generator. Or, f yeah, as quickly as possible. All right. That door's locked. Uh, let's see. We have A and B explosives. One second, guys. Forgot to reset that. All right. I think we're good. Hopefully we're good. Mm, there's Nikolai. So let's see. Let's take a look at our surroundings here. Lots of stuff. All right, let's continue forward.
I don't want to have to deal with him later. Alright. One. Yeah, it's a red light. Oh shit, dogs. Shut up, Mutt. Go. Fucking hell, Nikolai's annoying. Get off of me. Oh, okay, that just controls that. Uh, employee memo. Uh, admitted, is, admitted to N2 male 45, female 32, discarded male 60, female 89. Oh, uh, these are infected notes. Preemptively dispose of any over 38, 30 years of age. Nightly transfer observed by nurse admission to underground facility temporarily halted. This motherfucker. Will you die? Gunpowder. Oh shit! Oh you fuck! Got him. like this is going to need to come down or I could just cross it So 
something's gonna come out of there. Come on, reload. Do on that motherfucker. Anything in here? I'm glad I made those flame rounds, dude. Not even going to lie, I'm glad I made those flame rounds. Drop that. Drop that. Anything else should be fine. All right. Fuck away from me. Yeah. Fuck off. Oh my god, this guy just doesn't want to die. Take the hint, dude. Unfinished activity log. Uh, 1300 infiltrate Raccoon City. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission 1930. Uh, this is 926. So 730. Observed five RPD officers engage. Gauging a pack of 20 strong officers annihilated in 20 minutes. 927. 1200. S. Wren at university. Diverted pack of canines to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. 2300. Successfully rendezvoused with MV platoon. We'll make first attempt at dawn. 928. 430. Uh, diverted pack toward command post. Result night skirmished in combined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. Uh, 0800. End of skirmish. Seven survivors. 1800. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point B-18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. 2000, uh, 2000, 2000, uh, Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Uh, zero hundred. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV platoon bioweapons appearance. And behavior are consistent with Project N investigation. 
Hero 400, observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine. Uh, and knows the city layout. Evidence, it can be imprinted. 0700, metamorphosis into the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV. Video attached. JV has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. So they took her blood is basically what it sounds like. Oh, one second. Anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, 0 30. Uh, over 17 hours have elapsed since JV's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. 0 400 vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by Carlos Oliveira, a soldier in MV platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve. We'll induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. What's wrong with Tyrell? I mean, I'm not the only one that sees it, right? Wouldn't. I'm going to go ahead and use one of those. Yeah. He's either been shot or he's badly wounded by a monster and he's been infected. There we go. Mine rounds. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. I can't run. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn it. I liked him. The Pursuer. Follow Nikolai deeper underground.
safe room. What do we got here? Uh, Nest 2, employee regulations. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objective of the T-Virus research facility differ from those um of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Part reminds you of Net, uh, Mass Effect right back in Cerberus. Uh, here we focus on real world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T virus vaccine and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technology. S2 map. Right then. All right, here's the next one. We got high grade weapon powder. And gun ammo. This. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the material in the chamber. Ah. Oh. Synthesis? I have to make it myself. <sighs> All right, time for the research. What's this? Override key successfully generated. What if we're here? Override key removed. Flash drive. I wonder if uh, this is the key I need for downstairs. Go take a look. Hey, it is. Catch that motherfucker. He's still alive. Nope, still alive. Oh. Motherfucker, just die already.
Alright. Gunpowder. What do we got? Weaponry authorization request. I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available to any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. Test subjects do not represent or do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products. But I believe that this weapon authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high growth abil regrowth ability. Uh, our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate make them difficult to deliver the least blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, it would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this we reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Culture sample. They might be able to use this to synthesize the vaccine. Sorry, lady. I don't have time for your shit right now. A shipping notice, cargo, nemesis, shipping route, EDG, JFK, RC, a shipment date 1, 1990. I don't know why my controller keeps thinking. Uh, all transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts on the evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen for you, uh, to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Not dealing with you today, dude. We'll grab uh, whatever additional shotgun shells we can. Oh, we don't have any more. Okay, cool. Grab those. Have a healing item? Yeah, I do. All right. Nope. Alright. Over there. Nothing. But I heard something.
beat it. Isaac Graves' diary. The pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in Nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. Made the pitch to my family. We agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because the lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told. For their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have a conscience. And that I've learned my lesson. Poor Isaac, man. Oh. Hello there, friend. Oh, fuck down. Go back down. We'll make some more uh rounds here. Drop this in there. So that's where we came from. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, so now that I know that they regenerate, it's easier to take them out. We just have to deal as much damage as we can to them at the get-go. Scientist dying message. It happened. Our worst case scenario, the T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders of from Dr. Bard, I, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects. But I should be able to produce enough of this vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while the culture... Well, this culture is still maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. Well, at least we know all of them had consciences. At least most of them. There's a chest over there. <clears throat> what do we got? Acid rounds, huh? 
Those will be useful, I'm sure. Oh shit! The fuck off me. Stay down. Those are Mr. X. These are tyrants. That one's head is deformed. That one's just deformed. That one has a tumor on his neck. That one has multiple tumors. That one's just messed up. Jesus. Is this where they're laid? Is that a baby? Looks like some kind of heart, maybe? Jesus. Fuckers. There we go. What do we got? Explosive B, huh? This lady. There we go. Different stages, maybe, of the heart? Build test tube, huh? Vaccine base. Uh, just gunpowders, huh? There we go. I have a feeling those, some of those are going to open. Fuck it. Oh, nope.
Oh, thank goodness. Anything in here? Nope. Did I leave something back here? Seems like I did. Alright, we have no more shotgun shells. Okay. Um Take the G19. Take the mix. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and save. All right. Oh, I have to, uh, There we go. Oh shit. Al. I'm going to go with Al. Nope, nope, don't go in there yet. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh shit. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh my god, this guy does not give up. Come on. Yeah, no shit. This poor woman. This is that ex that just doesn't give up. It's like, dude, I said no. Calm down.
Oh shit, they're loading us up on uh on uh fucking rounds. Some high grade gunpowder here. Can't put that down. All right, let's let's store everything first. Okay, so it gave us two things of let's go ahead and take those we'll take the mag yeah that's never a good sign when they're loading you up on fucking ammo what do you guys think we're good I think we're uh we're locked and loaded here. What in God's name is this place? This doesn't look good. That looks like a boss arena. All right, hold up. I got to go drop off some stuff. Uh We'll leave one of the, the healing items behind. Dude, they're really loading us up. Jesus Christ. I'm, uh, I'm not excited. When they give you that much ammo, that's never a good thing. Only if you're Jill Valentine it is. Jill, don't you lose that. business to get paid so let's make a deal you go down there settle the nemesis and i'll record it all and sell the combat dots put on a good show and maybe i don't need the vaccine agreed good ah oh, fuck All right, asshole. Shut up. Aha. Uh -huh. right in the face Jill, is that you? Carla? yeah no shit Oh shit! Ah. 
Oh, that's some bullshit. What the fuck? That's some grade A bullshit right there. All right. We got to be more vigilant of the zombies. Yeah, no shit. I didn't know the, the fucking nemesis was Hispanic and couldn't fight his own fights. That's just our way. I mean, usually we bring our homies in. Uh, drop that. All right. Okay, so I assume we have to shoot the tank that he's behind. Shut up, Nemesis. Oh, bull. Yup, Jill. Do I look okay? All right, he's going for the run. Reload it all. What do we got here? Handgun ammo.
All right, there he goes. Oh, fuck off, dude. Oh, damn. God oh, damn, that's a rough fight. Oh my god, and we have to start from the beginning. Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. I really wish we had more space. The shotgun just doesn't do it for me in this fight. Okay, so let's take the G19. We can keep that. Oh, wait, what was that? There's something on the door. Disposal center. The facility is used for the dissolution and disposal of test subjects used in nest two experiments the potent solvents used will ensure that any biological matter within the vat living or dead is completely dissolved and ready for disposal please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal center always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the process always use regulated amount of solvent regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of if a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the disposal process. Leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. Cool. All We're going to use the explosive rounds on him first. We'll use the handgun to uh, break open the, the cases. Uh oh. All right, down the flame rounds. Oh, that was bullshit. I got hung, hung up. Shut up, Nemesis. All right, here we go.
All right, here we go. Round two. Oh, fuck off. Oh, shit. Knocked his teeth right out. Oh, dude. That was nasty. Oh, wait, let's see. Uh, weapon spec sheet, project title, ferromagnetic infantry use, next generation railgun. Code name Finger. Uh, ammo caliber 60 millimeter, muzzle velocity 6,000 meters a second. Uh, suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. Uh, user feedback. This thing is totally red. Tyrants out of line? Just give them the finger. And problem solved. Tax the firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined. It requires multiple power sources. Maybe difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? All right, got limited rounds of that. Take the shotgun. I have no idea what's coming up, so. This also looks like a boss arena. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You drink money. I like money. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. Data on this would be worth millions. What? 
Uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can for the price of life. <laughs> Good luck, Nikolai. God, I hate him. Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. Well, what about you? We're running out of time. We've got this. I know you do. It's like a sarlacc, right? Dude, he looks badass. Oh, let's finger Nemesis. Shit. Put it back. Let's see. There's weak spots. All right. Now's the time. That's one. Oh, I don't want to ever be this close to this thing again. Come on, Jill. One power source remaining. Oh shit, it's getting back up. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. Ow. Oh shit, I missed. Oh, bull. Ow. Here we go. All right, one more time. Let's finger bang him. All right, bitch, you're going to blow me. Ooh. Well, that's one way to do it. I take this gun. I would like that gun. Damn, we blew a hole through like four things of metal.
Pick it up. Suspicious contact memo. Received offer from clients seeking to use Raccoon City Crisis to undermine and claim market share from Umbrella Corporation via multi-pronged strategy. A. Sabotage Umbrella Corporation attempts to destroy evidence of outbreak to maximize culp culpability. Um, B. Induce encounters between uh, Umbrella Corp bioweapons and security forces law enforcement and collect combat data to ascertain viability of tech the report deployment of any new bioweapons including project n c specifications renew uh rumination succeed exceeds current offer from umbrella corp and takes top priority however the client has agreed to a grace period before using any of the deliverables so that payment from umbrella corp may also be collected dude nikolai is a double agent Wait a minute. Thing goes all the way around. Or anything back here? Nope. All right, cool. All right, come on, Carlos, kick his ass. Oh. We go. I'm glad I didn't miss. You go, Jill.
Carlos is a hell of a pilot if he was able to uh, maintain control. Damn it, I thought I got an achievement. What do you want? I don't want to play right now, cat. Let's go ahead and skip that. What is that? That's horrible. See? Oh, we can do better. And five and a half hours? That's about what they said the game was. Okay, you can now purchase items from the shop, which is accessible via the main menu. Points used can unlock items earned by completing in-game challenges. All right, cool. All right. So that's the game. That was pretty cool. I I enjoyed it. Like I said, not as good as the Resident Evil 2 remake, but not a bad game. Honestly, if you would ask me would I pay 64 bucks just to play this game, I would probably wait for a sale. It, it's not horrible by any means. It's a great remake. It just, it strays a little too far from the original material. So if you haven't played the original game, you'll probably like this one a whole lot. If you've played the, the original and were fans of the original, this one feels more like DLC for Resident Evil 2. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut the recording.